Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Feature on Cloud. In today's video, I am going to upgrade the Unity EMC Unity 450F to the latest version. Our current installed version is OS version 5.0.7.0.5.008, which I am going to upgrade to 5.1.2.0.5.007. So let's get started. First of all, as you can see in, on the screen, I'm going to download the Unity OS from the file server, from FTP server using FileZilla. Once it is downloaded, then I'll proceed. Tell you just to verify the downloaded version is correct. And I will move forward. Currently, file is still in downloading process. So once it is completed, then we'll move forward. So this is the hash value. We need to cross check. This is the file which we need to update to the latest version. So let's set the hash value for this file. So our downloading has been completed. So let's cross check the hash value. So this hash value must match with the file which we have downloaded ending with e double seven and starting with a4 it seems to be fine so we are good to go to upgrade it and let me check so far our emc management ip is not responding Download it on this login on EMC Unity. Click on setting, then software update. This is the current version. Zero zero seven. This is one which we need to upgrade. It will take a couple of seconds. Let's wait for a while. Hello, okay. uploading. So let's proceed to upgrade it. As you can see, our current installed version and the newer version.
So as you can see, software upgrade process has been started. It will take around one and a half hour. So for the time being, I'm going to pause the video. So once it is completed, I will zoom it. During the upgrade process, the SP will reboot two or three times and it will connect it back automatically. You don't need to connect manually. As you can see, the connection has been disconnected and it will restore automatically. How to complete? Yes, it is completed now. Reload Unisphere will just reboot the management, it will not impact on the production environment. Because the primary and secondary SPs are there. So at a time only one SP is removed. As you can see, he got the access again on the management. So the new version is updated. Now let's view the system performance and upgrade the system drives. No. Pre health check is running. It is recommended always perform health check before and after the application. The appropriate file with the latest form and start upward again. It will take uploading, will not take much, but installation will take around 45 minutes 45 minutes to one hour.
As you can see the warning, it is non-destructive and may take more than 5 minutes to several hours. As I said, it will take around 45 minutes to 1 hour to complete the process. It also depends your number of drives. As I have 3 enclosure, so it will take around 1 hour. Somewhere upgrade as in process, As you can see, software version upgraded. So, once everything is complete, we need to run. I'll check again. in order to verify the newly installed OS is working properly and it is not impacted on the production environment. So the built-in health checks help us to identify the issues. So far everything is completed. No problem detected with the new OS. The full collector log was already downloaded, already available, so we just need to download it. is performing the health check and verifying the services.
our firmware upgrade of the OS OS upgrade and the drive firmware upgrade has been completed. So we are just I'll check after the upgradation. Just check the enclosure as well. Zero one and all are fine. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching.